Steve and I are in Vinadal, Croatia just reopened their restaurants. Up until now, everybody had to eat outside. I ordered a liter of wine, which is way, way too much, but what the heck, we'll leave it. And Steve ordered a steak, and I ordered a baked octopus. In Croatia, similar to other countries, they charge for bread. But we don't care, we're hungry. And Steve ordered a salad. There is Steve's steak with the potatoes au gratin, that piece of avocado that's buried there. That's And here is my octopus. Not Squidward, because it's octopus with potatoes. Steve is already always ready for dessert. So here he's got a lava cake with vanilla bourbon ice cream. Tonight we are dining in, if you want to call barbecue rooms dining, El Toro. And, and uh, she said that kind of wine is like a Merlot. They have different kinds of ribs. They have veal ribs, pork ribs, which are my favorite, of course, and Steve and I are probably going to pork ribs. They also have black Angus short ribs, pizzas, burgers, and even tacos. But I just sort of tacoed myself out in Scottsdale. Everything sounds good. I'm starving. Absolutely starving. Here's our yummy food. Steve is already tucking into his. How many ice creams you bring a plate? There's always room for four ice cream. By the way, that was a very good meal. Ooh, there are some sort of figures up there. Tonight, we are eating at Boban. There are 14 Michelin recommended restaurants in Zagreb, and this is one of them. And fortunately, it's only like a few paces from our hotel since it's raining outside. Some trivia, their water is potable. They have very good water, and there's no problem asking for tap water when you're in any of the restaurants. And a glass of good Croatian wine is about 40 kuna, which is maybe seven, less than seven dollars. The problem is trying to decide what we want for dinner. They have a huge menu and lots of good stuff. This bruschetta sounds really good. It comes with with the eggplant and feta cheese. Maybe Steve and I can split that. Here's our bruschetta. And for the entree, we ordered lasagna for Steve and a chicken breast for me. They told us that their portions here in Croatia are really big enough for one person, but I disagree. Steve and I could have split the one lasagna easily. And this is the one chicken breast. Steve has his all-time favorite, the chocolate lava cake with ice cream. And I ordered a strawberry meringue with sabayon and ice cream. By the way, the lasagna was exceptional because I think it was made with a bechamel sauce. They told us that Bruschetta is the best restaurant here, so we might as well start with the best. We're going to do a half a craft of their white wines and work our way through this menu of yum, 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 yum. Let's see. Perhaps the bruschetta with scampi. And I don't know if you want lasagna again. I love, love mussels. Mm. So much. Pick from Croatia is so big on pork ribs, which is a big shock to me. I am not used to people smoking all around me. This is one portion. I questioned it because they divided it in two. I didn't think there'd be two pieces of bread since there was only one in Zagreb. But right now we are in Zadar. It is wonderful. It's 
mascarpone, cheese, peppers, rocket, and a spicy olive oil with the with the scampi. Steve and I are just yumming it up. Steve and I ordered one portion of the grilled calamari. Thank goodness. I can imagine if I had ordered two of them, no way we'd ever finish it. So with a rocket salad. So yum. Oh my God, is the food great. Everything always sounds so wonderful. Oh, that Caesar mussels. Puff, good, doesn't it? A puff pastry, yes. The restaurant is called Pet Brunana, and it's another one of the highly recommended restaurants here. This bruschetta is their high specialty, and um, I think the bread is in, dipped in beet juice. That's black olive tapenade chickpeas, bacon, and a type of goat cheese, but it's not goat cheese. I think it's their sheep's cheese. This is one of their specials, the artichokes and veal, chopped veal, in a homemade pasta. I meant to video the lamb steak before Steve and I started demolishing it because Croatia is known for its lamb and it is well deserved good potatoes, and there was like a, a, I don't know what it was, some kind of marmalade sauce to put on it. This is better than the pasta. All right, it took hours of looking at the menu, but I think we're gonna try this baking paddle of the Kotari region. It's Pag Island curd. You could take the ferry over to Pag Island. It's a strong cheese. It's supposed to be the best in the region. Goat cheese, sheep, cheese, prosciutto, ham, pancetta, smoked venison sausage, fig cake, almonds, grapes, and truffle. And that is just our starter. I always have on a happy face when you can get a half liter of wine for around $11 US. Happy days. Malo. Misto is a family-owned restaurant, as you can see, since 1970, and since they're still in business, obviously it's pretty darn good. Steve, how are you enjoying the food so far? I'm having a good time eating like Sonny the Pig. That is the Pog cheese with a fig cakes, and uh, some of these are like prosciutto, ham, that's the olive oil, the good olive oil, the really good olive oil, uh, soft cheese, and this is just to begin with. This is so good, and particularly the Pag cheese, it's P-A-G, they consider it the best cheese in Croatia. It's a stronger cheese, which I like. Here is our mixed grill with sausage and pork and chicken and beef and roasted potatoes and skewers. Steve and I are sharing one. They do have another one where it was uh, for two people, like 300 kuna. This is just one portion, which is more than enough for two people, I think. For our last night in Zadarist, it's time to do something totally ordinary at Tribunara. Pizza. This must have very, very good pizza. Steve and I just hit, I don't know if you want to call it a new low or a new high in wine prices. It's 14 kuna for a glass of wine, which is a little over $2 USD. Nice pour. That's our hotel right there. And that's our view out there. You would think I'm done getting over the surprise of the servings, how huge everything is. This is one caprese or caprese salad, tomatoes, mozzarella, bread, and we are planning on ordering pizza too. For sure that is big enough for two people.